What is going on guys, you're very welcome back to more Pokemon Chaos Black version in the last episode. We caught a few Pokemon and scouted out the talent of this game. And in this episode, we're going to be probably heading to Pewter City, battling our rival and stuff. So by overwhelming uh, request, I guess, a lot of guys wanted me to use Grog. And yeah, I've leveled all my Pokemon up to level 9, Grog included. And yeah, this thing I honestly think is a little bit overpowered for where I am in the game because it does have Aurora Beam and look at its stats that thing is that's OP is what that is that is gonna be too powerful nothing's gonna be able to take that out so again you asked for it I didn't want I didn't really care who I used as you saw when it, in the little uh, off screen training thing I showed before I was leveling up Able but it doesn't really matter because Able doesn't learn any water type moves which means it's a good thing you guys picked Grog because otherwise I would have been pretty in a pretty bad position so we also have uh, Shikun, which learned Gust on level 9, and yeah, I think I'm going to have to give this thing an Everstone, otherwise it'll evolve into Pidgeot on level 36. So yeah, I'll probably have to give it a uh, Everstone to make sure it doesn't evolve. And then we have Nala, who is the exact same. Remember to leave some nickname suggestions as always, so when I get to like Lavender Town, I can change the nicknames on stuff. Anyway. Uh, there was another Pokemon I found in the grass while I was off screen. I didn't even know it was in there. So I'll show it to you quickly. This is, uh, it's a poison type Pokemon. And it is this thing here. It's called S Plime. It's, it's ugly as hell, but it, yeah, it's ugly. I won't even say it looks cool. That is just ugly. That is just, that is very poor design as well. That's just like a green blob with something stuck on it. Is it like jelly tots or something? I don't know, but, uh, it's got pretty bad stats. Well, not bad stats. They're decent. It, it's basically a resprited muck, but it's not that good. It has poison gas, pound, and heart. Now, I'm not going to use that thing. That thing just looks like total garbage. So, we're not going to be using uh, Epslime or Esplime or whatever it was called. Anyway, we're going to head back over to the route where we caught Grog because we have a rival battle to do before heading on to the next city. So, let's head over to route 22 and take on our rival I believe he's gonna have uh, a Shizard and a uh, his starter Blick you or whatever so let's take him on here he comes hey Stu you're after the Pokemon League forget about it you probably don't even have any badges do you why am I doing like a really bad sort of Italian mobster voice there I don't know the guard won't let you through without them, I should probably just say it normally. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Uh, yeah. Is that all? Oh, he was- yeah, <laughs> he's battling obviously, but he didn't really comment after that. That's just like a random way to get into battle. Did your Pokemon get stronger? Yep. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna go for a tackle on Shizard. As we know, this is a poison and, uh, normal type. I don't know why he doesn't have Shikun, I guess. Well, it is a resprite of P uh, Pidgey, so it would have been Shikun, or not Shikun, Shizard, because that's what Shizard is, and, uh, yeah, it would have been probably too hard if he had a, a Steel-type straight away, but it's okay if I have one, though, so that doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, I probably only need Shikun for this battle, I can't really use Nala or, uh, Grog, because Grog only has Aurora Beam, which is gonna be not very effective on Blikyu, so, we took out that Shizard pretty easy, uh, didn't lose a lot of HP. And uh, we have Bukyu next. Both were on level 9, so we should be able to. Eh, it's doing decent enough damage. I mean, it's not like Bukyu can do much to me. It probably knows Water Gun or something, but it won't do immense damage. And how did we miss? It used Tail Whip. I mean, come on. And yeah, that's only doing 2 HP, so it's nothing serious or anything. And wow, we got a crit. Way to go, Shakun. Can you finish it off from that range? I think so. So we'll go for a tackle, and he has 1 HP left. Fantastic, that is, I would give it credit, but that's just annoying. So there we go, Blicky was defeated just by spamming Tackle, and we defeated Sims by spamming Tackle as well. And there we go. So, I don't I don't know what he said there, I don't really care either. I heard the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. You're in the exact same spot as me, with Pokemon on the exact same level. In fact, I'm actually ahead of you. Because I have a third Pokemon that's on level 9, you only have two, so... At this point, I am actually the superior trainer, but now you're gone. You've been gone for about 10 seconds now, and I'm just talking to myself, so... 
Yep, not good. Anyway, we're gonna heal up, and I'll see. Ye I'll show it. I don't really care. I was gonna cut it out, but I'll just show it anyway. So yeah, we'll heal up. Heal up, them pokes. Get my guys all ready for the walk to Pewter City. I don't even think the forest is in this game. You just go straight up. But there's like a really sort of puzzle thingy that we have to do. So what I'm going to do is just switch Grog to the front. Actually, yeah, I don't even think there's any trainers. If there is trainers, I'll just switch Nala to the front. But I'm pretty sure we have like, apart from the puzzle, it's a pretty clear path. And this guy wants to give me the Teachy TV, which is a horrible invention, really. So, um, yeah, you don't get the choice. You actually, you're forced to be shown how to catch a Pokemon by the old man. So he is, yeah, it's boring stuff. It's sort of annoying, too. But we gotta do it because it's mandatory. I could cut it out, I guess, but I won't really, I don't really see the point in cutting stuff out. It's only a few seconds long, and it does take up a little bit of time in the video in case I do run short on time, because I feel this one will be actually pretty short just because of when I get to the gym, I will probably be taking on the gym in this episode because there's not much else to do and because Grog is so OP, I'll probably get uh, through the gym in very quick time. So there we go, we got the TGTV and we are gonna, look at this maze, it's totally weird. So yeah, we're gonna try and get through here as quick as possible and we're gonna just go up, grab this item and it's a paralyzed heal, so that could come in handy eventually. We're gonna jump over these ledges here it is really weirdly designed, but still pretty cool. Not your average Pokemon design, which is great. Uh, a lot of wild grass, so which is annoying, and we got a wild battle, just as I say that. And it's enable. I think it's all the same Pokemon that were on the last Arm Route 22 are up here. And there's my gripe with Grog. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but yeah, no sprite appears for Grog, which is really weird. So I'll never know. Well, I will know. It will tell me if he got hit or not, but it'll still. It's still pretty weird that there's no sprite, so yeah, that could get a little bit weird. Uh, there's a cave down there, I believe, that's blocked off with cut, so I can't go in there just yet. There's a lot of stuff here that we can't do, and it's sort of weird, but, you know, stuff happens anyway. And, uh, yeah, we're pretty much near the end of... It. There's a trade in here. Abra for... Uh, I think it's another Pokemon, I'll just check it out. It's... Oh, it's Mr. Mime, yeah, there's no change. That's, I'm thinking of something else. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty basic I guess it's already in Pokemon Fire Red so there's no difference there and there's the Diglett Cave which is blocked off um, from that side so it's kind of pointless to go into it anyway we're pretty much at Pewter City right now there's nothing else down there so what we're gonna do is head into the gym hopefully get our first badge and that'll probably be it for the episode because there's not really anything else I can do I probably could go on to the next route but I'll save that for the next episode. I know there's like a ton of trainers on the next route. Anyway, take on this guy who I believe tells us we're light years away. Yeah, stop right there, kid. You're 10,000 light years from facing Brock. Yeah, I'm. He, he's right in front of me. I'm Light years is distance after all, not time. And this guy has a Geodude, level 10. So we have Grog, and we'll go for a Aurora Beam, which should take it out. It is super effective. And there we go, down goes Geodude. So we defeated that Geodude pretty easy. And he's gonna send in Sandshrew next, so we'll just go for a uh, go for an Aurora Beam on that as well, and that should probably take it out or probably two hit KO maybe. Nope, it's an OKO. So down goes Sandshrew again. This is why this is why Grog is so OP. I mean, nothing can really touch it. It's so powerful, and it has the same type of attack bonus. Ice type move to start off, so I mean it's very strong. So you're here, I'm Brock, I'm Pewter's gym leader. My rock hard willpower is evident even in my Pokemon. My Pokemon are all rock hard and have true grit determination. That's right, my Pokemon are all the rock type. Fwaha! You're going to challenge me knowing that you'll lose? That's the trainer's honor that compels you to challenge me. Fun then, show me your best. Alright, so Brock is gonna have the same Pokemon he has in Fire Red and Leaf Green, which is Geodude on level 12 and Onyx on level 14. So, Grog should one-shot this uh, Geodude pretty easily, I hope. And yep, down goes that. So that's Brock's first Pokemon defeated. 
And his next Pokemon is going to be Onyx. And that is going to be on level uh, 14. So we're going to go for an Aurora Beam. It outsped me, which is not uncommon. I mean, Onyx is actually pretty fast, despite its uh, large size. Anyway, that's going to be a 2 hit KO. So we can finish it off with an Aurora Beam tackle. Again, look at that. That's two tackles. It's four levels ahead. And it's only done four HP. So there we go. We just defeated Brock in actually no time at all. And got up to level 11, which is great. So, well, it sounded like Tony the Tiger from the Frosties, or I don't know if they're called Frosties anywhere else, but they're great. As proof of your victory, I confer onto you this the official Pokemon League Boulder Badge. So you get the Boulder Badge. Great. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Game over. <laughs> Not really. We still have a lot to do, and I just skipped all that. We can use Flash inside of battle, of course. Pokemon must Flash to Yep. Pokemon must learn, or must know Flash to use it. And we get TM39, which contains Rock Tomb. I mean, if he used Rock Tomb, I guess he could have ruined my, uh, my Grog, I guess, because it is super effective. So, it mightn't have taken him out in one hit, but it would have done decent damage. Anyway... With all that done, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. In the next episode, we're going to head over to Route, uh, is that Route 3 in that direction? Yeah, or Route 4, whichever one it is. We're going to be heading over there and probably uh, going towards Mount Moon. I don't know if I'll do Mount Moon in the next episode. Maybe I'll save that for a different episode because it is a cave and that has decent length, is what she said. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'm stretching right now, but I will see you guys more shortly enough. Catch you then.